subscribe to learn and tech channel and press the bell icon for latest update from learn and tech hey there everyone my name is prakash mitani and welcome to learn and tech in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create navbar using bootstrap 4 for your project or website i'm currently in getbootstrap.com which is bootstrap official site and in the right hand side section you can see the latest version of bootstrap is there if you click on those drop down you'll see the previous version of bootstrap bootstrap 3.3.7 is the most stable version but yes bootstrap 4 has come up a long way so now we can see it is also a stable version and you can do a lot of stuff in bootstrap 4.0 also so today i'm going to talk about how you can create a simple navbar which is a collapsible navbar in a bootstrap 4 we'll talk about how you can do so first of all for that purpose what you need you need bootstrap files either you can download it from here or you can directly use a cdn link this is CSS links and these are the JS link. Bootstrap also include a proper.js in the Bootstrap 4.0 which is for advancement using JavaScript and jQuery. That will be talk about later on. So this is that. Take your all the reference file from here. Go to your code file which I've already created here. So all these files are here. min.css, min.js, proper min.js and bootstrap main.js so all these files are here and i'll go in my body section i'll start creating navbar first tag that we need for nav navigation bar is nav and under nav create class for your navbar that will be our navbar and background color for this navbar bg success and navbar dark is the color of your navbar all right once that is created i'll create an anchor tag where i'll put my brand name and what i'll do i'll create a class navbar brand here and I will just type the name of my brand here, which is Navbar. If I will try to see this code in my browser, this is how it will look like. The Navbar brand name is on the left hand side, which we usually have logo here. You can put the logo also. Now what I need to create is, I need to create a button. Button for what? Button is for? Uh, the collapse one which will be our you know toggler so I'll create a button here and I'll add some class in my button first of all I'll define the type of my button type will be button and Class will be navbar toggler. And the data toggle will be collapse because we are creating it for collapse. And the data target will be, I'll tell you what data target is all about. Collapsive navbar CP navbar that means or collapsive navbar which we are trying to create. Once that is done, go inside button create a span tag. If you remember in a bootstrap 3, we used to create three span, but in bootstrap 4 we need to create only one span with the class navbar toggler which is our navbar toggler icon that's it which you can see here in browser this is what we have created now what we need to create is we need to create a section which we will create using <coughs> section tag or you can create using your 
div tag also and inside that tag what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a collapse section and it will be navbar collapse so these are all bootstrap default classes which you need to use and I'm gonna define an ID here which will be our CP navbar if you remember I have used data target here CP navbar and the ID is CP navbar that means whenever someone click on this particular toggle this particular section will open all right this is why I'm providing the ID here for the reference purpose once that is created I'll create a unordered list here and it will contain my nav item nav bar nav and inside the li I'm gonna put some nav item class here all right that is there once that is created just type some text item one whatever you want to do that's it go in a browser section When we click on this, it's not working properly. Let me check if we have done something wrong. If I go in my CP nearby here, so the data target, I have to provide the reference of ID because we are targeting the ID. We need to put hash. We'll see that now it will work or not. So now it's working fine. You can see we have created a collapsive nearby. But one thing that we need to remember is we want that for the large screen or computer screen side it should not be a collapsive one when we uh, you know go to our mobile devices then it should be a collapsive one so how we can do that uh, what you need to do is in your this section navbar section you need to include a class navbar hyphen expand hyphen and you need to provide at what level so I'm define MD that means <coughs> my medium level so when I make it smaller on a small screen size it will look like this and if I stretch it to medium level it will look like this or for my mobile devices it will be a collapsive nav bar when I switch to my mobile devices and you can also make it for either for a large device or whatever you want to do let's see if I do it for LG then how it will behave till medium it will be the same till medium it will be same and I switch to a large device it will remove the collapse one you can also change the color of this BG success to like different BG primary if I do that we'll see that this color will reflect there this is our BG primary and if I make it BG danger you'll see the color is changing so there is a lot of option in bootstrap you can explore and create a beautiful navbar for your website so that's all for this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos thank you so much